literally everyone on Twitter and every other social media platform is currently drawing summoning circles for Tomodachi Live. Me included. And the Dragon Quest HD remake. Or, um... Dragon Quest 3. That shit needs to be here soon. Please. Thank you. Why did it? I didn't, I didn't do anything. Oh, in terms of announce everyone one to switch, well, they just did the fucking thing. The fucking... Uh, what was it called? Mario101013, thank you for following. How timely. Um... Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> That video was, uh, something. I mean, the people had fun, at least, but I feel like it's definitely not something I would want to play at all. I don't think it's my cup of tea. Mostly because it seems so... not Nintendo-esque. As in, it doesn't have any... It doesn't look good. <laughs> let's, let's just... Let's just face it, it looks like shit. I'm sorry. It's Jackbox with waggle controls, exactly. They're like, you know what makes people want to buy our games? Make them shake their arms. That will get them. They also have to use phones for some reason, I guess. I feel like people are finally over this, like, the big companies and shit, ever since uh, Jackbox came out. It isn't 60 like the rumors, but 30 is still too- yes. Yes. Yes, absolutely yes. Remove that price tag. Put it on something else that's actually worth it. This game should be free to play. It's like, everything I saw feel, felt like... They just grabbed a bunch of fucking acids and made mini games out of them. Also, we only have one minute left. I should maybe turn this off. I have not checked the audio. I hope it's fine. It's really loud. <laughs> if I go that far, but not there It 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 doesn't look like anything. There's there's a lot of mobile games. They pretty much have the same thing. They cost either nothing, or maybe like have additional costs of like five to ten bucks. It's very. It's kind of nothing. <laughs> I mean, it has its appeal definitely at some, in some aspects. Ah, uh, so I need to lower my mic. Oh. Oh, who's that? Is that Mario? They took the Wario out of the wear. True. I hope the audio is fine. Oh, hello. There he is. Good morning, John Nintendo. Look, it's the game everyone played for half a month and then dropped immediately. I mean, it looks like more than I expected.
I'm still not sure how to feel about this. I like the style, I guess. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> I'm not gonna even think about buying it until I see how much it has to offer. If it actually has something to offer and actually like improves upon the game, I might. Welcome to my Grand Blueberry Academy. That's a sentence. Also, can we get more hairstyles for the game? That would be actually... fun. Oh. A little bit of a frame drop, I see. So like, the game was fine, sure, like, it was okay, it wasn't anything new, it wasn't anything big, I mean, the story was kind of interesting, but I think that was like, the most fun aspect, but, um, can the game at least work? Hello. I'll be one of your guides for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi. Okay, I think this I'll sounds fine. Today. Two guys. For the hidden treasure no hot tub. The paid DLC for the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. The first half of the trailer took place at a festival in the countryside. While the second half seemed to be in a completely different location. A futuristic academy in the middle of the ocean. More details on this DLC. They aren't six feet apart. Yeah, happy Pride then, Month, everyone. After today's Nintendo Direct, a special event will be held in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. <laughs> wow. Participate in it. Absolutely okay. fucking nothing. Let's see our first batch of headlines. Okay. It's a oh, look. Sonic Squad of Superstars. Sonic and friends are spin dashing into a brand new 2D side scrolling game, Sonic Superstars. 12 brand new zones await. Speed through beautiful worlds as Sonic. That's him. Take to the skies as Tails. Scale walls and glide as Knuckles. Or swing a powerful hammer as Amy Rose. I like that she got the old style again. Harnessing the incredible power of the Chaos Emeralds, you can summon a storm of clones, uncover hidden secrets, and so much more. And for the first time in the series, local co-op is available for up to four players. Okay. I think this was already mentioned before. Combine your powers and take on the evil that it wasn't online co-op. I think I heard something about that. On the Nintendo Switch system this fall. Yeah, probably no online. A cozy life is just around the corner. <laughs> Welcome to Palea. In this free-to-play adventure sim, create the idyllic life of your dreams alongside in-game characters and players from all over the world. Okay. Build houses. Decorate your home plot, grow crops in your garden, and more. Play with other residents in online co-op or carve out your blissful life solo. I like the idea. And if you're eager to explore, there's plenty of life beyond the village. Set off on a vast journey to Oh, but it does not look many good. <laughs> or just kick back and relax at home. How you live is entirely up I know to the you. characters feel so absolutely lifeless. Will you I don't know. Palea 
is free to play and launch at least the playable characters i haven't even seen one blinking ignite your oh, heart there's tactica the phantom thieves return in this tactical spin it's free to play oh okay the group ends up in an unfamiliar world well, that is a selling point. I can imagine it has a lot of IAPs. During battle, assess the situation and determine whether to unleash an attack up close. Well, I'll give it a try once it comes out. Or using a persona. Knock enemies down to perform another action called one more. Then surround your foes and take them out with dramatic flair using the new all-out attack, Triple Threat. The fusion ability also, we're probably gonna see the Persona 3 remake. To personas to form other Persona plus Rabbit's Palace Battle. No. This is different. Shut up. <laughs> When Persona 5 Tactical yeah, but they have to, because, um, November 17th. they already said it's gonna be on Switch. Well, said as in, today, it's in the trailer description, even though they didn't say anything about it. Step into a Saturday morning cartoon! Calling all heroes for the first-person roguelike adventure, Myth Force. Enter a high fantasy world inspired by Saturday morning cartoons of the past. It's up to you to stop the evil Daedalus from- Can the camera stop shaking? I can't fucking see anything. Treacherous tombs Please. Cryptic castles threaten your survival. Wield medieval weapons. Please stop shaking, dude. Dude, the cameraman is nervous. During each run, you can find treasure to help boost your character's abilities, weapons, and more. Plus, up to four brave heroes can share the adventure in online co-op. <laughs> so much action, we can't stop moving. As you face the many perils ahead, by the power of teamwork, Myth Force launches on the Nintendo Switch. I thought it was called Myth Force. This Hello. This is going to be pretty sweet. It's the biggest man. The next Splatfest for the Splatoon 3 game has been confirmed. Okay. Okay, squids, here's the theme. Which flavor of ice cream is best? Vanilla, Ooh. strawberry, or mint chip? This Splatfest will be held during the dates. Oh, no of course everyone's gonna go for fucking vanilla. I mean, look at the color. There's a reason. These choices are delicious. Guide your favorite I feel like if they did chocolate again, people would have been mad because it would have been the same. Plus, get splatting in themed battles with challenges. More splatastic events are on the way. Be on the lookout for you got more it. in the future. Hello? Is this fucking Detective Pikachu thingy? It looks like it. To promote an even stronger bond it is. Yep. Did I miss anything good? Um. Hereby proclaim this day the start of Pokemon Friendship Week. There he is. I don't think you did yet. You two are the ideal detective duo. Disguises are a key part of detective work. Quit goofing off and investigate. I knew that it was Detective uh, Pikachu so because it's the only Pokemon IP at the moment that actually looks go uh, good in quality. Did I just say Goog? A light roast today, huh? So true. Based on our deductions, the culprit is clear, isn't it? Ah, a bolt of brilliance! The name's Pikachu. And I'm what you might call a great detective. Wow. I sure wish somebody would bring me some coffee. 
That was Detective Pikachu Returns. Looks like he still loves coffee. <laughs> I love how they just what popped up on the screen. And this tough talking Pikachu solved together. More info will be revealed in the future. POV, we're gonna Please beat you to death. This. Oh? Hi. No. No. There's no fucking way. They're actually... No. I mean, I have never played Mario RPG, but it's fucking... Getting rem oh my god, he looks chunky. Look at the little guy. Like, I already had a suspicion that something Mario related is gonna come out because we've been going fucking what? Six years now without a new Mario game? I mean, it still is and it's a remake, but still. Oh wait, no, we had Paper Mario thingy, but I think that kind of went under. I sure really don't get a lot of Mario platforming games, are we? But this looks so good. Mario can't jump. Yeah, they took his legs. Oh, okay. Originally released on Super NES, Super Mario RPG returns with brand new graphics. Whether you played the original game or not, why not take the opportunity to jump into the very first RPG in the Mario... I was expecting, like, sometime early next year. That last trailer featured Mario, but he's not the only one getting a game. Huh? What do you mean? Let's take a peek. <gasps> Hello? What? For you? Princess Peach will star as the main character in a brand new game. Oh. She steps on this particular spot on stage. Huh? Whoa. What on earth is happening? <laughs> That's all we'll show for now. We'll share more details. At what the day. fuck is going on? There's actually Get her out of here. What? Visually enhanced version of and we have visually enhanced maybe work on the frame rate, but what? Nintendo 3DS is in development. We hope you look forward to seeing more of Luigi's ghostly antics. Are you done? Will launch next year. <laughs> Mario, Princess Peach, Mario, and Luigi. Looks like Mario fans have a lot of games to look forward to. More details will be shared in the future. Bro, what the right, fuck is... Let's see some more headlines. Okay, yeah, thank you, I guess. What the fuck just happened? Become Gotham City's ultimate You're not Mario. Wake up, Mr. Wayne. We have much to discuss. A platforming game, so yeah. The fear that is coming. Soon. Still know how to make an entrance. Welcome to the madhouse, Batman! Today is the Joker's big homecoming, and you're the guest of honor! Soon I will command forces beyond. These games were on Wii. Oh, yeah! 
because I was about to say, weren't these already on a Nintendo console? But I forgot about the Wii U. It's only been 16 minutes. Akram Knight on Switch, I don't know about that. I feel like the controls are gonna be terrible. Batman Arkham Trilogy launches on Nintendo Switch this fall. I mean it looks like it runs fine. Play your cards right, mercenary. Huh? Lead your mercenaries through cursed dungeons in the lands of Gloomhaven. Your tactical prowess is all I, that stands. I wish. Oh God! What the fuck? This looks terrible. Board game features turn-based card battles with RPG elements. Unleash deadly combos and bring doom upon your foes. But beware! It plays in. This is less than ten frames. Choose from seventeen different mercenaries. Brave over two hundred and sixty grueling missions and master over one thousand abilities. Maybe not every game should be on Switch. And gain every advantage to survive. Grit your teeth and earn your key. Also, I wish they would like put the names of the studio on the bottom again and the name on the top. Pre-orders for the mercenaries and gold editions begin today on Nintendo eShop. Keep the dance party going. Whoops. Copyright yet? Cool, thank you. Look at these guys. Did that sign say pregnant? Let's see, what are they playing? Okay, I don't know. We need a new Switch someday. I feel like they, they might still take a while on that front. <laughs> Watch, this gotta be like on fucking Wii, Wii U, PS3, and Switch. Isn't it cool that I know, like, none of these songs? Oh, it didn't say pregnant. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a fucking streaming service. Or my Just Dance game. Okay. Lies in a world without words. One day, a yeah. peaceful realm was silenced by its king. Now, seven wordless warriors will rise. I swear I just saw an ad on Twitter. Bound by fate must work together to explore the abyss and find the secluded king. Give me the name. However, never mind. Ever changing dungeons and powerful foes, conquering the abyss will be no easy yep. feat. Wield weapons like this is Zelda 2 magic and more to survive this deadly chasm there he is Zelda materials you've collected will help you cultivate resources and forge new items repeated for and Zelda this will enable you to grow stronger and dive deeper can you hear me your guide on this journey is the kingdom's sorrowful princess, encased in a crystal of her own tears, and through a mysterious power. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about like every dungeon crawler now also being a fucking farming sim. I saw Harvest Moon Cow same. I was about to say it, but I also didn't want to say it because I felt like that would be annoying. But I guess everyone sees it. <laughs> Sparks will fly in these Nintendo Switch games. Cool. Cast spells and cultivate your best life in Fae Farm. Whoa, yes! And fend off mischievous More! Enrich your farm to help your character flourish. They've shown this fucking game three times now. Thank you. Improve your stats for the day ahead. And enchant your friends locally or online in four-player co-op. Farm launches yes, they did. Yes, they did. 
pre-orders including an in-game bonus they showed it last direct shop. they showed it in the fucking harvest Soon moon direct thing where it was literally just farming games charged. and this one now and it was uh, was also i think on the pc games on the pc games show um future game show Unleash your creativity by modifying your vehicles and building your own tracks. Race locally with friends in split screen co op. Plus, I mean, it's got like the a course creator, so it's Grab immediately more interesting to, uh, as the last the game. Or less, too. October 19th. Get your chassis looking classy in Manic Mechanics. Grab a part, fix it up, and toss it over. It's overcooked, but as a mechanic. To earn in solo play or four player co -op. But watch I wish there were more, more than two types of games nowadays. That would be really cool. Manic Mechanics launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch July 13th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Introducing the second paid DLC for Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. You can also get run over and overcooked. Mario and friends journey to a musical planet. But it is a selling point. Build with new areas to explore and new enemies to battle. Are they? I feel like they're just showing stuff they already showed. At least to some degree. New DLC, the last Spark Hunter. Launches later today. This was also going to be Rayman. They already showed this a one. Demo of the main game is available now on Nintendo eShop. Oh. Please. Please. I hate. I hate. I hate that it's MIDI. But please. Dragon Quest Monsters. Dragon Quest Monsters. Dragon Quest Monsters. Please, 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 please. Please. What? What the? You're going to have to become a monster wrangler. That's a cool name, I guess. <laughs> yes. Yes. We waited for like 15 years. Can we finally get some orchestrated music, though? Been a fucking while. Dude. Yes. Yes. Ah, the so-called hero is here! The fucking dude from Dragon Quest IV? What? That was Dragon Quest Monsters, the Dark Prince from Square Enix. What kind of journey will you take to become the master of monster kind? We haven't seen a single fucking Dragon Quest Monsters game since fucking Dragon Quest Monsters 2 Joker, I think. What? Who's a creature? Oh, hello. Welcome to the Rescue Corps. As its newest recruit, you'll venture to a mysterious planet with all sorts of life forms. There, you'll meet <laughs> what the fuck? creatures called Pikmin. And the adorable Rescue Corps. Yeah, actually, looks really good. Good boy. Good boy. Your mission, boy. should you choose to accept it, repair the damaged Rescue Corps spaceship and save any castaways you find. All right, let's explore. Together. Oh, do you like build your own like little crew? Once plucked, Pikmin. I saw a lot of characters. Blow your whistle to gather them and have them follow you. Throw your little buds at things, and they'll start working for you. Ochi will also prove to be a great canine companion. He can carry items with Pikmin. Or smash obstacles in your way. And if you need a flotation device, well. God, I love how fucking lifeless the eyes of the Pikmin look. There's absolutely no thoughts behind those eyes. 
collect lots of treasures scattered around the planet to fix the spaceship's radar and open up new areas to explore. This looks so good. What the fuck? isn't limited to the surface, though. Why not take the plunge under? Oh. Here, a completely different environment awaits. Unusual contraptions. Native creatures. And even more treasures are around every corner. That's a GBA? I know. You might unexpectedly find some castaways, too. Hey, wait a minute. This leafy individual just nabbed the castaway. You've got to stop him. It's time for a Dandori battle. What? Embrace the art of Dandori by strategically issuing commands to your Pikmin and Ochi. Collect more objects than your opponent. Pikmin in the PvP. And save the castaway. Evil Oliama, they made they fucking Splatoon 3 you find him. By rescuing castaways, you'll be able to do more activities back at base camp, which is right next to your spaceship. Train Ochi and teach him new skills. Oh my god. Or build new equipment and items to help make exploration more manageable. For the first time in the Pikmin series, you can eventually set out for night expeditions. Wow. But there's oh, yeah. Catch. They showed this. Nightfall sends creatures into a frenzy, so stay alert. Thankfully, He's fucking you'll come naked. The new glow Pikmin what? Only appear at night. Find luminols that produce valuable glow sap. These mounds also attract various wildlife. So use glow pigments. You're fucking eating them and protect jumping the them up. You still got 12 minutes. Damn. Many more surprises await on this uncharted planet. But with the Pikmin and Ochi by your side, no challenge is too big or too small. Pikmin 4. In a month? In past Pikmin games, you comes out in a month. Spaceship before sundown. However, in this latest entry, you can now venture out. At That's. Did they announce this? On your expedition. We have even more Pikmin news to share. HD versions of the first two Pikmin games originally released on Nintendo GameCube. Okay. On Nintendo eShop later today. Probably for a fucking insane price. Plus, ahead of the game's release, a demo of Pikmin 4 will be available oh, okay. on the new eShop on June 28th. But, uh, what? The demo can be enjoyed even if you've never played a game in the Pikmin series before. So we hope you'll try it out when it releases. Okay, I think we're now in the good part of the presentation. <laughs> okay, let's see a few more headlines. Okay. I'm really excited about what they have at the end. Hello. series of stealth action games is infiltrated. Big fucking snake. As Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1. Oh, so they are bringing it on all the consoles. Metal Gear Solid. I have to actually buy this because I Please tell me it's not the censored version. Metal Gear Solid 2: Sons of Liberty. The one on 3DS was censored for um Snake Eater. Metal Gear Solid 3. And that made the game way less fun. Please let this one be the onset. enjoy the games that started the series. Metal Gear. On NSO. Metal Gear 2. Solid Snake. As well as the NES versions of both Metal Gear and Snake's Revenge. Oh. Oh, it's on the collection, I see. This compilation also contains the first Metal Gear Solid digital graphic. Hmm, but I feel like it's gotta be like 60 bucks. Because it's three games and some other stuff. Screenplay books and master books with story and character info, strategy guides for each game, and a digital soundtrack. That's cool. Metal Gear Solid. Today. 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 Fuck. Okay. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Yeah, he be snaking. First three Metal Gear Solid games will also be available separately on Nintendo eShop. Oh, but the prize might be. It's time I was about to say, when are we gonna get Vampire Survivor? We haven't seen a Vampire Survivor game yet. Vampire 
Universe. But there's Universe the actual the one. Nintendo Switch. The good one. Do you have what it takes to this game is actually really good. Onslaught of monsters. Stay on the move to avoid enemies and attack automatically with your weapons. Seems easy at first, right? But swarms of It's really cheap. I think the base game is like 2 bucks. And the DLC is like 2 as well. Leveling up. And it's for free on phone. Weapons and upgrades for your character. So shape them as you I think plus up to 4 players can now play together in couch co-op. What other horrors lie in store? Find out when Vampire Survivors launches on the Nintendo Switch system, August 7th. I could check, but I think my phone is too old to play it. <laughs> Music and pigeons? Okay. Sounds pretty cool. You're a pigeon. Yeah, you heard that right. Play online in this rhythm battle royale and aim to be the last oh. bird standing. Okay. Up to 30 players can ruffle each other's feathers in musical mini games. Mm. Copy the leader's actions perfectly in Yes Commander. Fire a slingshot to play music in First Piano Shooter. Race and fly to the rhythm in To the Sky. And more. This is like one of those like battle royale games that has like absolute hype in its first like two weeks of release, and then nobody's ever gonna play it again, and the server dies within a year. Ready, set, yo! Okay. Penny is on the run, entangled in a chaotic audition that veered way off script. She's managed to make some powerful enemies and a newly animated friend. In this 3D platforming adventure from the team looks cool. Sonic Mania, you'll explore the oh. colorful world of Macaroon and help Penny and Yo-Yo escape the clutches of the grouchy Emperor Eddie. Perform stylish acrobatic tricks to avoid Eddie's massive horde of pushy penguins and power up yo-yo to protect penny from foul play you can also put your speed running seven more minutes in time attack mode to unlock special items complete secret stages and more this is your big break after all take the stage when penny's big breakaway launches on nintendo switch looks good early next year I forgot five. that this is still going. A brand new course is racing in oh, you can play in fucking Mario Mario's bathtub. DLC. Introducing squeaky clean sprint. More characters are also being added. From oh. Double Dash, oh. PD Piranha. From Mario Kart 7, Wiggler. And from Mario Kart Tour, Comet. Wiggler moment. Wave five of the Mario Kart. But there wasn't everything, booster course right? <laughs> DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game zooms onto Nintendo Switch. Usually we show some tracks as well. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Two worlds, one fateful encounter. This looks familiar. A remake of the second Star Ocean game, complete oh. graphics that fuse 2D and 3D, is on the way. After okay, yeah, this looks fucking off, sick. What? Federation officer Claude is stranded on a developed planet. There, he meets Reyna, who possesses mystical powers. Was it fate or mere coincidence? Soon after, the two get can we get more HD 2D remakes? In the galaxy. Like I'm not even kidding. RPG. Select either Claude or Reyna as your hero and play through the story from Like I want more. No more fucking HD remasters. Give me this. From all walks of life. During your adventure. This shit looks absolutely banging. The decisions you make will have an impact on who can be recruited to your cause. The enemy is it. Battles take place in real time and skills can be performed with a single button. 
I feel like this is the first time I saw a fucking um, real time side view JRPG. Not in your current party, unleash follow up attacks, letting you map out strategic battles in your favor. Okay, we still got to talk about the frame rate, it's always an issue. Unfold, and your destiny will be awakened. Save the planet in Star Ocean, the second story arc, launching okay. on Nintendo Switch November 2nd. Oh, this Square Enix, it's time to move it Wario style. Hello. Get ready for more micro game mayhem in the latest WarioWare game. Actually, uh, the WarioWare game? Then, action. Oh. Move your body to take on a flurry of lightning fast micro games. What you do and how you move depends on the micro game. React quickly. Bro was double cheeked up. On the, road to victory. on the Thursday afternoon. If you've got two pairs of controllers, play with a friend in local co-op. Sync up your actions to beat each micro game. Plus, up to four players. Everyone wants to switch, yeah, but with actual micro. style. <laughs> For example, this dicey board game is gonna keep you on your toes. Get your body moving in over 200 lightning fast oh. micro games. In WarioWare, Three minutes. We're almost done. I think they're gonna do the fucking um, scissor reel next. Today on Nintendo I think. Um, why aren't you saying anything? He was so into it. He didn't want to interrupt. Anyway, this is the latest WarioWare game. You'll use your entire body to strike different poses and complete micro games. He was goated with the sauce, dude. To share. You... Hello? Families can join the fun uh. at Nintendo Live 2023. Play games. Enjoy live performances. Take photos with some of your favorite characters. And more. Plus, cheer on your favorite players in two championships. I was half expecting, like, a game. Also compete in on -site tournaments and participate in I kind of feel like the final announcement has got to be side order for Splatoon 3. Is free. Something just tells me. September 1st through 4th in Seattle, Washington. We haven't heard jack shit from, like, the Splatoon the DLC since Wave 1, so I feel like it's got to be something. I mean, it's not something I'm really excited for. Interested in attending can visit the official PAX website website for more details those not selected will have another chance to attend with the three channels oh, so I don't, we don't know yet or do we players from each will get tickets please visit the official website for more details see you there cool a vast number of players are enjoying their time in hyrule in the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom which released last month we're giving out codes for the eShop so you get five apples in game. An amiibo figure of Link from the game was released to coincide with the game's launch. New amiibo of Zelda <laughs> and Ganondorf Whoa. are planned to be released this holiday. We hope you're looking forward to them. Okay, this next segment will be our last announcement. No sizzle reels? Are we blessed? Hello? Is is it fucking Onward and upward? <laughs> <laughs> Ask and you shall receive, I guess. What the fuck? It's fucking Mario. And it's not Mario fucking new Super Mario Bros. It's not Mario fucking. I mean, it's kind of like in the Yoshi, Yoshi's Island style. Just more 3D. <laughs> but it looks good. What the fuck is going on with Mario? Roll, roll, roll. 
they killed the goal. Mario Bros. Wonder. Oh wait, shit, yeah, Daisy Playable, what? I just ignored that completely. <laughs> Who is that? Okay. In two, in three months? Or four, sorry, we're still in June. What the fuck? And there's the fan art. Good job, Nintendo. You did it. That was the brand new 2D side scrolling Mario game. Super Mario Brothers. This was. <laughs> when you touch a wonder flower, Expect the unexpected. They put reverb on his fucking voice, dude. Or you might turn into something different, for example. There were also flowers talking. Daisy is playable. And Mario became an elephant at the end. A lot of things happened. <laughs> yep. We'll share more details in the future, so we hope you'll look forward to it. Mm-hmm. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Damn, but no NSO. Thank you for watching. I mean, we're getting Fire Emblem tomorrow, so it's fine. Goodbye, Nintendo man. I'm glad there isn't... Hmm. Evil. Yeah, I don't think there's anything new. Anything extra, anything... There's no after credits. I wish there would have been NSO. Because I kind of like having my games on the Switch. At least I want them to, like, announce the games that they already showed when they announced Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. Like, I want fucking... Yep. Mario Wonder and Pikmin 4 Epic. Yeah. Pikmin 4 was really good. Like, I want the fucking Pokemon trading card game. They showed it, I want it. I feel it's still gonna be a while until we get that. Um, so I have to say, the first part, like the first half of the thing was really underwhelming. <laughs> I mean, I also didn't expect that they were going to show Pokemon, considering Pokemon does its own fucking thing every single time. There's like even the most small, like, thing to announce. Like the last one they did on, um, what's it called? Um, Pokemon Day or whatever. That one was shit. They showed us Pokemon Sleep for like 10 minutes and that was pretty much everything. Also, at least we're getting DLC. Yay. The first DLC looked okay, the second one was so fucking uninteresting that I actually looked away. <laughs> I was doing something completely else during that. I like the style of the first one, but it still probably isn't gonna run like anything. The last fucking update they made for the game was so useless that I think to some degree it only fixed the frame rate issues by maybe a frame. And the memory leaks are still there. One of the biggest franchises in the world, by the way. Wait, well, the second half was really fucking good. The fact they just came out and like announced like fucking four Mario games in one. Unexpected, I guess. Pretty cool, nonetheless. And we got Pikmin 4, which looks fucking sick, and it's coming out next month, and we're getting a demo in seven days. Literally next Wednesday. 
that were cooking, at least in the second half. Kitchen was still kind of close in the first half, not gonna lie. But overall, a good direct. Not as good as the last one, but still. Pretty decent. Um... I don't think I have anything else to say. Um... No, not really. Considering I'm streaming literally in five hours again. Well, four. Because we're doing the first stream for the fundraiser. I'm gonna be playing the Super Mario Maker 2 Endless Challenge on easy. I'm gonna try and beat fucking 1000 levels. I'm gonna be so tired of um, the levels, but it's fine. We're doing it for charity. And we might be able to see some really cool things. Because we have seen some very interesting levels during that. When I first started playing Mario Maker. Um, let's see. Oh well, I was about to rate somebody, but literally everyone is ending stream as well right now. <laughs> I think everyone just went online for the thing. Unless? Wait, no. I think... I always have to check that my fucking Twitch is on mute because it sometimes just unmutes. Oh, cool. Add. Well, I think we're gonna rate Leanne. I'm gonna be back later at 9 p.m. CET, so I'm like about four hours from now. As I said, Mario Maker 2. Um, if you wanna stick around, we're gonna raid Leanne. Um, she's also watching the thing right now. I think she's already done, but, um, like everyone else. But, um, I think she might be playing some more stuff, so we'll see. But yeah, um, I'll be back later. We're doing the fundraiser. I'm really excited. First time I'm doing something like this. So, um, I hope we'll all join me while we raise, uh, money for Games Outreach. And on that note, I think I might just end the stream here, and we'll go over to Leanne. So I hope I'll see you later, and I hope, until then, that you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.